Captain, have you seen my father anywhere? No. He went out this morning to ride the land and was supposed to be back hours ago. I don't know. The ranch hands have been out looking, but so far they've found nothing. Well, come on. Let's go look for him. Thank you, Mr. Marston. I'm sure it's nothing, but I worry about the old fool. Hello, mister. Come on, boy. Come on. Watch out. I can't keep up. I've got a bad feeling about this. It's not like... Stay with me. I've got a bad feeling about this. No worry. We'll find him. He's not as young as he used to be. What if he's hurt himself? Your father can still handle himself just fine, Miss McFarlane. He's built like an oak. You're probably right, but I can't help worrying. He's all I've got. Don't you have any brothers or sisters, Miss McFarlane? I had six brothers, but five of them died, either from sickness or foolish choices. And the other one? He left for the east and never came back. Must be getting on for ten years ago now. He's a high and mighty banker in New York, according to his last letter. He should be here, helping you and your pa. I don't want his help. He can live his life any way he wants. But when I see those city fellers coming in on the railway, all dressed up like a sore toe, I fear a little for his soul. Look, I think I see someone. Come on. Nothing nice. Wrestlers, I guess. Maybe the Baller twins, that bunch. Now, you head back to the ranch right now and fetch your wagon. Yes, sir. Marston, you watch after her. I'll do that, sir. Yeah! Watch out! Come! What could have happened to those poor men? And their horses were dead, too. I think we should get back there as soon as we can. Who could have done something like that? Your boss seemed to have an idea who it was. Let's just do what he says and get the wagon. Those damn rustlers! I've got a good mind to head over to Pike's facing myself. I don't think that's a good idea. And you're no better. How many men have you killed? Do you really want to know? It's disgusting. You never met the men I killed. I heard the way you talk about that gang you were in. Like there was some twisted morality to what you did. We all have a code. Only some of us don't realize... The outlaw with the code? How wonderfully romantic. The reluctant murderer, the noble criminal. There's nothing more depressing than a man who's found a way to think the bad into good. You're... Oh, my God! The barn's on fire!
sure know how to handle yourself. Thanks, Marston. Yes, John, thanks. You, well, you saved the ranch. If you'll excuse me, I, I've got chores to attend to. Hey, wh hold on a second over there. Sincerely, John. Thank you. Well, I did all I could, Miss McFarland. Sorry about all the damage. That gang seems to really want you out of here. Yeah, well, my father fought Indians. I scarcely think we're going to be frightened by some white trash. White trash can be pretty frightening. Well, they don't frighten me. Good. John, my family owes you a great debt. I think you got enough debt. You saved my life. All I ask of you is this. If I get back home and get my farm started back up, you'll sell me some cattle. I prefer doing business with people I know. Of course, Mr. Marston. It'd be my pleasure. Um, well, you get some rest. I've got to go see how my father's bearing up. I'm sorry, pal. Mister, please help! Get on in! My horse just got rustled! Keep from under me! Why don't you just pull that sombrero down and get some shut up? I can feel 40 winks coming on. Just so you know, I don't take requests, mister. I'm looking for a man. Name's Peter. Fellow's meant to get married today. Seen him around? Who? Peter, is what she said. <laughs> you ain't after no Pete Turner, are you? For all I know, where can I find him? Well, my memory escapes me when not properly stimulated. Let's see if we can refresh it. Five dollars will do. Or you could run a little errand for me. What do you need done? It's my wife. She packed her things this morning and left me. The dumb wench is still at the freight station waiting for the stagecoach. If you could convince her to take me back. Her name's Rose. I guess I'll go have a talk with her. Now you'll need more than talk for that bitch. The saloon's a great place to get to know everyone. Sounds good to me. I can't wait. Excuse me, miss. Er, uh, Rose? If that useless, whoremongering bastard sent you, get lost! Miss, please. If only... You know what? Tell that 
bastard, I ain't going back. Not this time. Not even at gunpoint. You sign an oath, miss. For better or worse. The way I see it, you should give him one last chance. Stop bothering me, you dumb cowpoke, or I'll call the marshal. Go now. That stage coach will be leaving soon. Sorry, mister. No shit. Here. What do you do? This might loosen your tongue. Truth is, Pete Turner ain't been an armadillo for near on 20 years now. Kind of a queer fella and all. Wasn't here every night. Sure as the moon in the sky. What happened to him? Well, what happens to all of us? I reckon you'll find him at Odd Fella's Rest. Yeah, that's where he'd be, I'd guess. You can make good leverage. Go meet the boy and watch the event. Sounds good to me. Go on and run away while you still got the Tomatoes gave my boss the ruins. They got a place. Next town over, you can have two women at the same time. Do you think I care? I was greatly distressed over the grave robbing of Coops. It's where my cousin rests. Did you say something? I'm gonna say so. I'm getting a headache just to hear about it. Oh, 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 Get out of here! 